All right, so somebody gave me a really good idea for a video um, in the comments section. And this is how you can spot fake military profiles, like people pretending to be veterans um, for the purpose of scamming uh, women in fraudulent romance online out of money. My own pictures have been stolen probably four times and they've been used by Nigerians to seduce and extract money from a lot of South American women. Um, but it's very easy to protect yourself if you know what to look for. So, and this is very, very prevalent. Um, I was catfished 15 years ago and um, in hindsight, like I should have known immediately because there were some serious red flags. So. Right off the bat, if you're talking to somebody and they say they're a military member and um, you know they start giving you the sweet talk and blah, 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 the first way you can catch them up and see if they're real is to ask them where they went to basic training. And for the Air Force and the Marines, it never changes. So if they give you anything different, they're lying, flat out. The Air Force is at Lackland Air Force Base. The Marines are either uh, Paris Island or MCRD in San Diego. There is no other place they do basic training, period, dot. Um, the Navy, Great Lakes, Illinois, but they might have one or two other places. I'd have to look that one up. And the Army has more than one. So that's, that's something you should Google. Um, that's the very first thing, though. If you can catch somebody lying about basic training, right off the bat, they're a fake. Um, the second thing, ask them their job in the military and don't put up with any stupid answers like, oh, it's classified, or I can't tell you, or it's a go it's governmental secret, blah, blah, blah. Bullshit. Um, a lot of, of fakes screw up because they don't, um, they don't, like, know how to verbalize what job that they're pretending to be, right? Um, and then rank also. So if they've got a, a dodgy-ass rank, like, something that combines like officer and enlisted and there are some variations like in the army there is a sergeant major like that's an actual rank um but for the most part if you got something weird like a sergeant lieutenant or a freaking you know captain major or something like that um look up military ranks and look up what they you know what they tell you and make sure it's it looks real and if, if not just uh, go on Facebook and ask your veteran friends. We can spot a fake rank or a fake job really quick, like three seconds. Um, the biggest scam is guys pretending to be overseas, deployed overseas, and that they don't have money and they need help because they haven't gotten paid or something. Um, this is always a lie. Military members, a lot of times deployed, don't even get taxed on their income. They get regular paychecks, just like in the States. There's never any finance screw up. There's never like, they're never at a forward operating base away from their money. It's always a fucking lie. So if they ever hit you up for money, they are scamming you. They are absolutely lying to you. Um, don't get conned because some of these guys are really good at being romantic. They're be, they're good at making you feel special and beautiful and pulling the wool over your eyes and telling you whatever you want to hear. But um, understand that these guys are reptiles. They do this. They scam women at hundreds of thousands of dollars every single year pretending to be veterans. And women get caught up in it because they're very convincing. They're, they're like actors. So just understand that if they can't answer those basic questions... If they can't get on camera with you, that's a big one too. Um, don't don't accept any type of dumb excuse like, oh, I'm on the front lines and I can't do blah blah blah. Um, odds are they're not, and that's that's a, that should be an immediate red flag. They should be able to get on camera within a month of talking. If you've been talking to a guy for three months and he avoids the camera, that's fucking why. Um, don't let them give you an excuse. And I'm the same way just, just in general, you know, when I'm trying to get to know somebody, um, I, I do want to do video calls sometimes just to verify they're a real freaking person because there are a lot of fakes out there. So 
try and get on a video call with them, verify where they went to basic training at, you know, look at their rank, um, and don't ever let them tell you that what they do is classified. That is such a fucking lie. Um, even Navy SEALs, I know, uh, don't have to sterilize their, their social media that much, right? Um, so anyway, hopefully this will give you guys some insights on uh, verifying anybody you're talking to online that pretends to be a veteran or saying they're a veteran. Um, don't get scammed. And don't fall for people's bullshit uh, or excuses. Don't let them con you out of money. Never send a military guy money, period, dot. Or military girl, whatever. Never send a veteran money, period, dot. They are scamming you. Bye. So is it just me or do all women get like hit up by these idiotic romance scammers? Like their usernames are getting a little bit more realistic. So I had followed a couple of them thinking they were real. But then they automatically message me with the stupid like, oh, hey, beautiful. And yeah, that's a bunch of bullshit. Um, I pissed one off because they're like, how's your day going? And I said, well, I'm technically homeless due to my divorce. And I don't have any money for you to romance scam out of me. But otherwise, I'm good. And then they're like, hey, am real. Not I'm real. Am real. And if you're not nice to me, I will not chat with you. Like, buddy, you're not doing me any favors. I didn't respond after that. I was just in a mood when I sent that initial response. But, yeah, does this happen to everybody, every woman on here? Or is it just because I'm old and have in my profile that I'm a divorcee? Anyways, let me know in the comments. <laughs> have a good day.